Welcome to another mini sode of song title challenge where the question is, climbers, how would you write this one? We have climbers like you, listeners of this podcast, send in their song title. Send in one, send in as many as you want to info at daredevilproduction.com. Production is singular. There is no S. Info at daredevilproduction.com. Please put song title challenge in the subject line so that it gets into the right folder. If you don't, it won't. And then I spring these titles live to Brent on the podcast. And we mimic what you should either be doing like in the beginning of a write or before you get to a write where you've got this title and we try to cook up four or five different conceptual angles to write the lyrics before we begin to actually write the lyrics to make sure we've got sort of the coolest angle on it so that either you've got a great title and you're winning before you're spinning or even with the most mundane title that seems like very compartmentalized and it could only go one way if you cook up an unusual way like you did brent with drink you on my mind Mm -hmm. all of a sudden it's it's almost like an ambush right (laughs) they're prepared to hate it and then you set them up in advance and they love it even more because like, wow, I never thought about it this way. That's really cool. And this is also a great exercise that will breathe new life into your wilted lettuce hooks in your hook book, right? The hooks that are two, three, four years old that you wrote down that you just haven't given much thought to because whatever energy it was, the muse that led you to write that down and put it in the hook book, maybe that energy is kind of worn off and you go back and do the song title challenge for it. And all of a sudden, wow, there's new energy, there's new life. And Brent, you've done a bunch of those, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm getting fun results from it. We're getting songs that are, I'm trying to look at some of these. I think I have at least a couple songs on hold, maybe, you know, that are uh, started from a song title challenge. And yeah, so it's been fun. It's been like, I'd never don't know what to write. Like it's my part of my daily process on my, on my good days. Anyway, I don't always do it, but I try to, I'm just going through and it gets the wheels turning. So I feel like I'm always stocked up when I go into a co-write. I like, I got ideas. You got it. You need ideas. I got ideas. So it's been, it's been working out for me. I really enjoyed it. That's killer. And this is not a co-write in any way, shape or form guys. It's just a fun, creative exercise that we want you to just be thinking deeper about your lyrics before you begin to write them like and start with the angle of that song so uh the only thing that we do require is we get an invitation to the to the number one party right that's right we do love we the want, number ones right. and the parties are you ready sir oh might as well today's i feel like it's very compartmental so I, i've also made a point out of just giving, giving my your, initial thoughts on the title take. Yeah, My hot take on the title, and then it's always fun to watch how it develops after the song title challenge because um, you may agree or disagree with the hot take like right after I announced the title. But mm-hmm. this is from a fellow Arkansian Ooh. from Cabot, Arkansas. His name is Rick Burden. Rick. And Rick's song title is I Look Good on Paper. Okay, Rick Burden. I, I, I Look, look good, good on Paper. On paper. All right, I'm just writing this down here so I have it in front of me. I Look Good on Paper. Um. All right. Well, first time in the studio, first stuff we recorded was in Austin, Arkansas at Blue Chair Studio, which is just outside of Cabot, Arkansas. So it's in central Arkansas. Oh, woo pig, Rick. So, uh, yeah, we was talking last step or upcoming episode about Matt Dane being in the studio for the first time. That was in mm-hmm. outside of Cabot. That's Arkansas. where you guys went was Cabot uh, is Austin, Arkansas, which is just outside of Cabot. So, yeah, oh, that's awesome. Anyway. So, hey, Rick, thanks for sending this in. All right. I look good on paper. So what's your hot take first, Johnny? I don't think you've given that So, yet. Well, my hot take is that this is a very one dimensional title. Mm-hmm. And that I can immediately think of where the lyrics should go with this. There's not a lot. It's not wide open to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'd be interested to see like what I feel like I'm in a room with one one idea and I can't get out. So it'll be interesting <laughs> to see what 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 walls we break down in uh-huh. the song title challenge. Yeah. What's interesting to me about this is like it's the opposite. Like I've heard the the phrase normally is I don't look good on paper. Mm hmm. Or I guess I've heard the phrase, well, it looks good on paper. We'll see how it actually works, right? Yeah. And so this is, I look good on paper. So normally I don't look good on paper is like, and I've heard that song written before is, you know, I've got my scars, my history, my, I got some story to me. I don't look good on paper, but I'm a good guy or I'll love you or whatever. I just don't look good on paper right. you know, kind of thing. Or trying to get a job. I don't look good on paper, but I'll work hard. The, I do look good on paper is interesting to me and at the moment has me stumped on on like how can we make this a commercial thing cuz you know I'm I'm a commercial hammer I'm trying to hit commercial nails and usually country songs and 
that sort of thing. Okay, here's this is where genre can open up some ideas for you. If you think about it in a like in a Christian thing, like a Southern Gospel or CCM thing, I look good on paper. Like I go to church seven days a week or whatever. I go to church, you know, on Wednesdays, twice on Sundays. I don't do this. I don't do that. I'm, you know, I don't drink and I don't dance and whatever. I got the things. I look good on paper, but I don't really know Jesus. You know, there's that Mm. thing of like cultural Christianity. Like I follow the rules, but I don't have the relationship. Uh, So that's one thing that, because to me, there's the, built-in contradiction of I look good on paper, but right. I'm not really good. Or I don't look good on paper, but I am worth the shot, right? So it's that, like, seems like there's a natural... It's the juxtaposition of it, yeah. Yeah, that seems baked in, and maybe it's, I should even rethink that. But that's... So I think if I look good on paper, then the reality is not that, because that's normally what it means. Then that makes me think, okay, well, in what way does it not look good on paper? Especially I, you're talking about yourself is like, well, I may look good on paper. I may look and walk like a Christian, talk like a Christian, but I don't really know Jesus. I'm not really saved. And there's a lot of that. And people, and you know, I've written about that kind of concept before and stuff. And so you might be able to go there. It's pretty, like, although I wouldn't write it for a Southern Gospel thing, because then the singer has to be the guy that says, I'm not really saved. All that stuff, right? So that's not going to fly. Uh, but, but, but you could, other ways? You could take the artistic license, I think, in this title and, and possibly go to a third person with that. You but, he, but he looks go good on per- paper, right? He looks um, good on – right. Yeah, that opens it up a whole lot more. You know, you might look good on paper, but is your name in the book of life? Ooh. You know, there's that sort of thing like, yeah, on paper, but are you in the book, right? So that could be – Definitely more of a Southern kind of thing because there's a little bit of that fire and brimstone. Like, do you really know Jesus? Mm -hmm. Because you might walk the walk, but if your name's not in the book, if you don't have a relationship, it doesn't matter about the rules. Rules don't save you. It's a relationship. So that could be that could be a whole thing, which would be much more comfortable going. You might, you know, you think you look good on paper, but is your name in the book of life? Whatever. It's not about looking good on paper. It's having your name in the book of life. So that could be one aspect of it. But yeah, that's taking a little artistic license, changing the, the eye is very limiting, which makes it way trickier. Especially for a, for a commercial kind of, if you're writing a commercial song, whether yeah. it's, no matter what the genre is, if you're trying to get somebody else to cut it, they have to agree with the eye, you know? And, exactly. And they, bring there's no and room spiritually on that. and yeah. So it's, it, you, you get to do whatever you want to do if you're the artist. But in this case, that, but how about this? What if the butt is before? I'm blah, 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 but I look good on paper. I look paper. good on paper. Yeah. What like, would that be well, like? I'm a screw up, but I look good on paper. I mean, you could be doing like a sarcastic song about the, the screw up that keeps getting promoted and keeps getting better job titles. They keep failing up or about a politician. You could write or, it about the music industry where you just fail upwards. You know what right. I mean? Like that, that's a that's conversation pro- I straight up have with Gary, like my buddy of mine, who's like, you know, big time in the TV industry and literally... When he went to school for the gig that he does, uh, you know, he always planned on getting into the entertainment industry. Like they, they tell you in school, like when you're like a TV executive, if you say no, you're right 80% of the time. And there yeah. are freaking people that have escalated up the ladder of Hollywood and with zero success, successes <laughs> that just say just, no. That like, just don't have failures yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's like weird. Uh, but that's a, that paper. could be an interesting little metaphor of life. You know? I mean, that could be, it feels like it'd be kind of a rock song, almost like a dirty laundry or a, yeah. all she wants to do is dance. Yeah. But I look good on paper, you know, like that you're taking on the character of this could be as the slimy politician or the, or, you know, or you can take a shot at a lot of people. You did the, the preacher that, doesn't oh that's that's doing like hookers and heroin on friday night that, and exactly that kind of preacher or you know or you could you know even take it to more of a uh to more of a gospel-y type song not gospel but like a christian-based song going you know maybe he's not hookers and heroin on the weekend but his heart's hard and he's and he's greedy and he really likes people looking at him and it's like yeah but he looks good on paper you know if you see his heart he looks ratty see, that's that's interesting and and you could make it first person but like a story in the way that mick jagger did sympathy for the devil right yeah if it's very clear please allow me to introduce this. myself i'm a man of wealth and t- like so it's very clearly a role that he's playing and it's you yes. can't be misconstrued in any way shape or form is that's that's and the that singer. feels 
that feels more rock and roll or maybe folk yeah. even mm-hmm. like because country doesn't really do that as much not that you can't write it that way southern doesn't do you know so it makes me think like some of these other genres lend themselves to that a little bit more of taking on this shady character but i looked it mm-hmm. on paper it could be what if it's from the perspective of like the abusive boyfriend the guy that seems to have it all together but he's really just a piece of crap mm-hmm. You know, and I mean, it could even be a girl singing that from the guy's point of view. Yeah, but I look good on paper, and I Ooh, don't really love you. That's but you heavy. look good on my arm. I'm a. Piece You're gonna of think crap, I love I look you. Good on paper, you know, you belong on toilet paper. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that could be interesting. Like a that could be. I mean, a pop female, R and B female, rock female could sing from the point of view of this dirtbag guy. But he looks good on paper. And you could do it that way, too, with the back to the record business thing, like in a Billy Squire, the stroke kind of a way, which was all about the music industry. Okay. And, and the way that and there's been a lot of artists that have done that, like where they're just going to talk about kind of the BS that happens or whatever. And yeah. It's like, <clears throat> but put it from that way. But I look good on paper because, you know, I've signed all these artists or whatever. So I'm the man. Yeah. But you're like, yeah, you're also a complete arse. Yeah, I, I wonder if you could almost make it where it's like, but I look good on TikTok, but I look good on screen. I look good on Pixel. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like it's all because that's what it is these days, right? It's like, oh, you know, he's oh, he's got a million TikTok followers, but he can't sell out his living room. Yeah. Or she looks amazing, like she's got it all together and her marriage is falling apart. Or, you know, oh, that oh, kind that's, of stuff. Or that's, so the metaphor right there. That, that's the metaphor right there for people mm-hmm. who are, like, there's so many people that just have this like perfect life on Facebook mm-hmm. and it's complete shite. Right. It's, it's an so, utter lie. Like I know people like this that are like, so, it's so over the top. You're like, Oh my mm-hmm. God. Like they'll, they'll post something on Facebook that's controversial and then systematically go through and remove all the dissent comments you know so that it looks like everybody only agrees with them and you're like wow man that's my my wife is immediately uh uh was it uh doubtful of someone's marriage situation the more they're like you know posting pictures with their hubby my hubby's the very best i just want to thank him she's like they'll be divorced in a month me thinks (laughs) thou doth protest too much yes me thinks i'll just kiss up too much that's my (laughs) wife's like she's like oh no no and my wife doesn't post anything uh, but, 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 but you know, paper could be the face, metaphor. Of, she's paper like, could be yeah. the metaphor for social media. Yeah, is there a way to kind of draw that where you just go, you know, you on you're talking about social media, but it's not literally on paper. So I'd be wondering, like, can we make that? Yeah, I look good on Pixel. I look good on Facebook. But I look good on I look good online. Yeah. Basically, I wish a little bit of that Brad Paisley thing online, but could be more of a social commentary, not just the humorous take that he took. Uh, but of course, we're, we're changing the title. Um, but it's it's in there, right? Yeah. I look good on paper. Boy, you really open it up just by changing the pronouns. If he looks good on paper, then it's one girl. It, it could be a female song going, oh, he looks good on paper, but I'm just not feeling it. He's everything, he's everything on the list that I should want. I just don't. Like, should I do this? Should I not? He looks good on paper, but he just doesn't. You know, I'm just not in love. How about changing the, uh, the conjunction? And I look good on paper. And I look... All this and a bag of chips. Yeah, 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 and I look, yeah, and I look good on paper too, uh, which is pretty, pretty confident. <laughs> but it could be, but, but yeah. But if you do that and you make it like self-deprecating lyrics, but you, you know, it's kind of like yeah. uh, I could buy me a boat, like the, yeah, the, the setup in that, which is like I'm mm. winning a million dollars and I'm gonna be rich and I could buy me a boat and a truck to pull it, you know, like yeah. <laughs> But also, what what can paper mean, right? So we're taking it the usual meaning of I look good on paper. I mean, I have the I have the measurables. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. A, you know, he's got a good job title. He's blah blah blah. All this stuff that you kind of the check mark for. He looks good on paper for whatever the the situation calls for. Like if it's a dating thing, well, he's he's young. He's he's in shape. He has a good job, good income, nice house, nice car. Boom, he looks good on paper. But you know, and normally there's the but there. What other ways could this mean? Like, I look good on paper. What could that paper be? Is it a, is it a, um, you know, you used to work in the mortgage industry. Like everyone thought that the bank used to think everyone looked good on paper, like signing that paper. Yeah, you can get the house. Yeah. You can get the loan. Everyone looked good on paper. But he thought, I, he said, I look good on paper. So I signed, you know, the devil had danced in empty pockets. 
There you uh, go. So there's that kind of thing too. They said I look good on paper and they gave me all this loans I didn't need. What I'm trying to think of like if a Chris Jansen did, I look good on paper. What is that paper? Like, is it um it could be a record contract, like you said. Record uh, contract. But I look good on paper and I got nothing from the label type of a thing, which would be a yeah. metaphor for for life. You know, but you gotta help yourself. Mm-hmm. Garden party, right? Like you got to please everyone, but you gotta please yourself. And yeah. I'm trying to think like, is there a fun way of going and you know, and I look good on paper, like signing on the dotted line with a something. Is there some way that, that means like showing up with a beer? Is there some way that that means, you know, got your country board cred? I look good on paper, you know, or it's the oceanfront property. You know, if you buy all that, you'll believe this too. And then I look, I look good, good on paper. On paper. Oh, you know? there it is um, like self-deprecating. Oh, and that could, that could also be tied into the, to the faulty preacher television yeah. evangelist person where you're, you're talking about that. And it, yeah, dude, I love that. Like, <laughs> Oh, let's see. I'm trying to think of the, the really fun thing, too. Like, how would, yeah, buy me a boat. Like, that kind of vibe. Like, how can you make that? I look good on paper. You know, signing the receipt to buy the beer. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, I look good on paper. Maybe everyone's my friend. Why? Because I look good on paper, signing my name on the bar tab, uh, buying the beer for the ha- house, you know. Every, you Because know, that, you that comes down to what I'm buying people. But maybe I look good on paper. Like in a different way too, but that that's getting it fun, right? Like yeah. I don't have this, it I don't have that, but I look good on paper when I'm writing the <laughs> when I'm writing the check for the keg, you know, when I'm or you know signing my name on the receipt. Um, oh, that's good, you know, yeah, because it's your name on there, so it's you looking. And people are like, yeah, hey, yes, you know, that's like, what are some ways we can really get outside the like? What could the other paper be? Right. Let's see. I look good on now, paper. In the rap community, I mean, they're talking about like, pay, if you got papers, that means you got money. That's money. Yeah. They're talking about dollar bills, you know? Yeah. Uh, could it be that? Could it be? <clears throat> I look good on paper. On paper. Yeah. Because that's looking good with paper. I look good on paper. Sitting on a fat stack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm I Because I'm sitting on my wallet. I look good on paper. <laughs> yeah. Sitting on I mean, a stack of bills. Or sitting on a stack of, you know, on a stack. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that could be like that could be pop country right there, you know. On that, that, that might route. be something like I look good when I when I have money, you know. I'm sitting on a fat wallet. Yeah, I look, that's when I look good on paper. If you if you can draw that like the paper meaning like dollar bills or oh, 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 or whatever. Oh, 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 I got it. All right. What? It's it's like it is. Um, it, it's Friday night. Mm-hmm. It's payday. Right. I love Friday because oh. I look good on paper. You uh, know, I got that check. Yeah, because I got that yeah. check. And, and I, my name I, on I check. got my name on the check, dude. And I'm going to go look good on paper. Yeah, dude. Everybody knows to call me up. I guess I look good on paper or something. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's your name on the check? Like, how does that? That's funny. And, and you could you could do that, too. With like, OK, what if the paper is a marriage license? Yeah. I mm-hmm. thought, damn, I look good on paper. paper. You know, you can yeah, put a little no. something before that. Like, <laughs> yeah. I what else up. could your name be on that makes you look good on paper? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah. The marriage license, the wouldn't be a tattoo. It'd be on skin. The marriage license. Yeah. Writing checks. And as long as you're, as long as I'm buying, everybody's a friend of mine. I guess I look good on paper, you know? Yeah. Or you could also make a third person thing. He looks good on paper, you know, signing checks and what, you know, he's a, he's a dirt bag, but he's got a bunch of friends cause he's rich. I look good on paper. Um, it's almost like everyone wants my autograph because I look good on paper, especially if it's payday and the, all the, that's when you get all the, uh, all the bill people calling on payday, <laughs> you know, or, you, wanna, you know, yo money, this one, wanting you to cut them a check. I guess everyone dude, wants my you, autograph. So I guess I look good on paper. Yeah, dude, that's it. So you could set it up. Yeah. That could be like, so, um, such a setup to be so unbelievably obnoxiously egotistical, but then it, the, 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 the ambush at the end of the chorus is when I'm signing checks to send the bills out and there could be yeah. late bills, you know, it's the red bill that you're oh, yeah. could, it pops out more when it's red, you know, it, it, yeah. it, it really cuts through. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the red really pops. Those final notices really pop. When they say yeah. um, That's but it fun. could also be, it could also be like, if you did this whole story of, I guess I look good on papers. Like I went and got all this stuff on credit 
because I boy, I didn't know I could afford this. Yeah, I guess I look good on paper. Everyone wants my autograph. Sign here, sign there. Thank you. And then it comes around to like now the bills are coming due, and you, you know you don't have it, and everyone's wanting your autograph. See Why? that's Because I guess good, I look good too. on paper. That's good too. Oh my god, that's good too. And so that's, that's a fun too. kind of story. I mean, it's a story song, you know, and you could take that funny, serious, whatever. I mean, at the heart of it, it's it's a, it's a downer. Like. Dang, you know, you're in debt and you're up to your eyeballs and creditors are coming after you. It's not exactly a party song. But but, but I mean it could be funny. it could be in the same manner that Tim McGraw served up. It's a business doing pleasure with you. Yeah. You know, it can be just a cool a little tongue in cheek, but still sharing some, yeah, sharing some sharing some reality. wisdom. Like you might yeah. want to think about this. You know, they, they may not have your best interest at heart when they give you that money. Um Right. Like you, know, you could go down the road of like, like very lightly touching on, I've just figured out like what compounding interest means. You know? yeah, yeah. Now I have a compound headache. I have a compound yeah. headache and I need a compound cocktail. A compound <laughs> fracture. <laughs> a compound fracture of my financial situation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I look good on paper, but I look good on paper. I mean, it's, Oh, but I just, I don't know. There's so many ways to go, but the eye is what really makes it like the challenge. I think we it's got like, like five or six, dude, already. Like, yeah. I mean, we just really. depends on your genre, what you're doing with it. Yeah. So. That went a lot farther than I thought it was going to go. Oh, there we go. Because <laughs> it has to, man. That's yeah. the thing. You got to dig deep on some of these titles that aren't like right there. Yeah. That and it wasn't until it evident. wasn't until we pulled it off of like the way that we're it was meant to be the colloquialism understanding yeah. of it. Take it off that. When we took it off that, then we went down that rabbit hole and all of a sudden it's like pow, 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 pow. That's oh, it's so good. Yeah. So many ways to twist it. Yeah. We looked at the meaning of paper. What other ways could we mean? Yeah, paper? My signature. And, like, everybody like you, you could write a total rock star song. And it turns out that it's just, yeah, you sending checks out to. <laughs> to the bill collectors like and you're exactly. just the middleman right between or, and, and you could you could you could tie that into with getting your name on the paycheck like i guess i look really good on paper because i feel like really good over here and then they like they like it when i look really good on the bill you know when i say yeah i mean because it's because it could be a total rock thing and not even like a downer of i'm broke or whatever just like i'm making money and yeah i see my name on the check and yeah i look good on paper and here come the people with their hand out i guess they know i look good on paper waiting me to sign sign their yeah. checks yeah my name is in a different spot <laughs> you know, it moved over <laughs> Too, but everybody wants my name. But yeah. everyone but, thinks I look good on paper. And I'm getting you, paid and paying. And how you can know? you make that sound like you're freaking Nikki Six from Motley Crue? Like you're just a rock star. Everybody wants your autograph. You know, everybody exactly. wants to say and your name. autograph too. And could be straight up autograph. I'm getting paid, so my name's on the check. I look good on paper. Everybody's lining up to get my autograph. Dang, I look good on paper. And and here comes everybody with their hand out <laughs> too, going, "You got to pay for the, you know, all the stuff you got to pay for." Uh, I looked at that paper, but I never thought it was going to be the stuff I got to pay for. Uh, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you got that little rhyme scheme that could work. You know? Yeah. <laughs> That's a Chris Jansen thing right there, dude. Like, So it, it could be, and you could do a country boy version of that too. Yeah. Like the, you know, just maybe not as hookers and heroin kind of thing, but you could still do like, man, I'm finally, I'm finally, you know, you do the country boy version. Like I'm climbing that ladder and dad gum, I'm doing well. I'll, dang, I'll, I get the check. I'm like, thank God, I look good on paper, finally. Yeah. And then everyone wants me to go take them out to eat. <laughs> yeah. Bill people are calling now. I or say, the, oh, wisdom, yeah, or the wisdom the is how, how your people first time around wants tend me to, to sign increase on to their living standard with the check. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, now, now I have all these opportunities. People want me to buy stuff. Just sign right here. Ooh, guess like, my dude, name straight up, straight up, when I was in the mortgage industry, I remember getting an application for a dude that had a a hundred million dollar tax return. Okay. Mm. He owned 30 companies. I mean that the file was as tall as me of all uh. the tax returns from all the companies and all the schedules from all the companies that he owns. hundred million dollar tax return, bro. Dudes live in paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. Straight up paycheck to pay. I got all excited because I saw that number. I'm like, well, this is the thing. And my buddy Eric was like, you better look at that, dude. Cause I'm like, we got to find out, but this is why we have to go through and look at everything and find out where the money is and what's going. Yeah. And you find out like this cat can't afford to buy a freaking house. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he can't afford a $500,000 house with a hundred at the top of the paper. Yeah. Not so good at the bottom. 
line. Yeah. That could be that statement, right? Like, oh, I keep getting a bigger check. I look better on paper now. And then it's like, oh, and then, then I, everyone's I, coming I at you going, watch you buy this. Sign here, sign there. Guess I look good on paper. And then at the end, it's like everyone's want, you know, so that could be a could be kind of a fun, kind of a fun thing. So. I think we got some good hey, looks at that, man. Yeah, Rick, thanks for sending that in. Tell Arkansas I said hi, and I love them. Give a big old woo pig wherever you are. They'll understand, and they'll love you for it. So, But, yeah, hey, if anyone else wants to uh, send one in, or Rick, if you want to work on this one, uh, I do private coaching. I do coach writing, which is where I actually get in there and dig in and work on the lyric with you. I do consultations. I do Q&A. I can listen to songs you've already written and and hopefully help you debug them. Make them stronger. I can help you repair your song or prepare your song. I also do private song title challenges. If it's something you don't want to put out here on the climb, uh, that's perfectly cool. You can get all the details. You can see my calendar and you can book a session at songwritingpro.com slash coaching. That is songwritingpro.com slash coaching. And uh, look forward to helping you. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that brings us to the end of another killer song title challenge. Send your titles in. As many as you want to info at daredevilproduction.com. Please put song title challenge in the subject line so it gets in the right folder. If you don't, it won't. And we'll spring it to Brent live on the air, maybe on the next episode. Guys, this podcast exists because we want you to win. So keep on climbing. And we'll see you at the top. (laughs) 